Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another WWE Supercard Season 7 video and we are going to kick off with one of these Make It Dark fusions. Really hoping I can get a floaty pack of course, but you know, the chances aren't great. But we're going to try and yeah, it's, um, it's another Vanguard and it's an Undertaker. But the main thing, it is a new image, which is the main thing of course, which... I literally just repeated myself. So, as you would have seen if you did watch to the end of the previous video, I've got myself a Marina Shafir Pro. Now, I also mentioned in that video that it's going to, you know, without using the Royal Rumble events, it's actually going to be quite hard to train cards now because they've sort of fixed the wild mode glitch. So, uh, you can't, you know, just swap your decks around and get easy easy wins in that anymore by the looks of it so that kind of sucks a little bit so uh it looks like i'm gonna have to play royal rumbles so um i'm obviously gonna have to play other game modes to get the cards to put in the royal rumble decks my word it's more complicated than what it has to be for me but there we go so very close of course to finishing drew mcintyre and uh, now one thing i will bring you in this video is the milestone rewards uh, not the milestone rewards the giants rewards so we started with randy orton of course and then we went through we've been through various other uh, giants of course now all the giants have been defeated so that means i'll get a pack for each of the ones that were defeated so you know this has got the potential to be pretty good but it's also got the potential to be pretty bad. So I think overall we're going to be getting maybe what? What's that? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Probably close to 15, maybe more. But well, actually it'll be more. Probably closer to 20, uh, to be honest. So um, that's going to be a fun little opening, I think. Um, hopefully a few swarm cards. Depending on how well I've done, maybe a behemoth card. That would be even better. But um, I'm aiming to play a little bit more, mainly so I can qualify for the rewards. And that is a very good start. I just want to make sure that I get the right arrow card come up. Because if I don't, I'm going to probably cry. It's literally 50-50 now with right and down arrow, isn't it? Now, this is not going to be a good start. Oh, my. Literally. Oh, my God. It, it, it. I mean, I'm obviously... Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll just accept it. We'll just accept it. I mean, I know, it's like 50,000 points. But, you know, I always say, if you get dealt a really, really bad hand in the first one, just accept it, because then your time is going to be going for your next one, your next free bout. But that one, that was, oh, that was tough. <laughs> that was very tough. I really didn't want to accept that there. But there we go. So, Randy Orton, not too far away from being done, of course. So, what have I got? Less than 3 million left to go. We've got a, a day and 4 or 5 hours left. So, pretty much guaranteed to get that card at this point. And uh, it won't help any immediate decks, unfortunately. Well, it'll help one or two. Uh, it'll help King of the Ring, because the, the one partnering John Morrison is currently a Swarm single Randy Orton. So, that, of course, will be better. It looks like I'm going to have to rely on the Performance Center a little bit more than what I normally would. So, uh, yeah. But this wild mode thing, it's um, it, it's a bit annoying. Because if we, if we do this... I mean, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now, we're at Shattered, which is what, I, what we want to be at, of course. But then we want to swap to combinables, of course. So we'll get Montez Ford in there. We'll get Fabian Eichner. And then, oh, I don't know, um, like a general swarm card, possibly. Hey, AJ. Let's just go with AJ. And then we will obviously want Marina Shafir in here. I mean, yeah, there's Nia Jax, of course, but I really... I really want to be training up Marina Shafir. It does. It doesn't really matter that much, does it? Because it's going to be back. You know, you're going to. Ha oh, I'm going to have to. It won't let you play wild mode when you've maxed out your uh, draft picks. Just a little bit annoying. And there we go. Let's just take a few more picks, just so we can do this uh, little experiment that I'm showing you. I mean, 
chances are I'm not going to get a tipple. I've literally just had one. So, um, uh, more light bulbs, which is really nice. I'll look at maybe starting another one of those fusions soon. Off camera, of course. Let's get another reset going, shall we? Hey, there's a, another holiday thing. And another piece of equipment. Uh, gear, sorry. Right, so let's try this again. Let's play a wild mode game. I mean, female tag really helps, of course. Uh, well, we'll just go with Montez 4, because, you know, that's the card I want to train up the most at the moment, of course. I think we have Team Road to Glory coming tomorrow, so uh, that'll be good to get my other Marina Shafir card leveled up. Along with Montez Ford as well. That will really, really help. So, we're going to back out. And now we're going to go back in. And it's already gone up to SummerSlam 19. So, uh, yeah. It looks like they've uh, patched this wild glitch now. I mean, they had to do it eventually, I guess. But it just sucks. Because I've got cars that I want to train. But it's like I've already said. I, can, I should just use the other game modes. Like the Royal Rumble. Especially the Rumbles. Because... Uh, you can actually, if you're lucky, you can train up your cards pretty quick. I mean, if anything, I'm going to probably start with a female Royal Rumble. Because, obviously, I've got two female pros that I want to work on. See, we're shot up to WrestleMania 36 now as well. Uh, we're going to go with Ford. I mean, we have to. If we're going to have a male first, that'll be Ford. If we're going to have a female first, that will be Shafir. Because those are the most important cars we've got to train up. Uh, Fabian Eichner is not actually fully leveled up either. So, that's fine. But yeah, these um, cards, once they're fully leveled, will help in certain decks. Especially Ford and uh, Shafir. That will certainly help me. Now, it is going up less than what it was before. See, we're already at SummerSlam 20, so... What's this? It's given me, like, what, four games before I'm going to have to um, uh, do the glitch again. Before, it'd be, like, close to 10, maybe 15. But, yeah, it just sucks. It just kind of sucks a little bit. Part of me thinks I've actually lost that. No, but it was very close. And I think we're just going to use a super move. Because um, we're not doing TVG today. So, uh, it's all good. Um, actually, <laughs> um, I actually need to get onto the team about what we're what we're doing about TVG up for Christmas time. I think uh, me thinking about it, I think we're just gonna do one as normal with the team event, and then probably not do one until the following Monday. So we'll have the upcoming team event, of course, with a TVG. But then after that, we won't do one until the following Monday. So we'll have like the Christmas holiday period off TVG and more than likely off the game. But um, I guess we'll see. Um, I'll see what everyone wants to do. So that is all good. So I'm pretty sure I will leave this um, video as it is for now. Um, I might, oh, I don't know. I might just do a separate one for... i tell you what. What I'll do, I'll come back once I've finished Giants Unleashed when I've got Randy Orton and give you an update on how I'm getting on with the training for the Montez Ford, the Marina Shafir, the Nia Jax, and the Fabian Eichner. I think that sounds like a good idea, guys. And then I'll do a separate video for all of the Giants rewards. So, I think that sounds like a plan. I'll see you soon. Hey, guys. So, we are back. Randy Orton is, of course, done. Um, I've completed him ages ago, to be honest. But I have still been playing, mainly so I can be eligible to get more rewards from the event. So, you know what? Screw it. I thought it's absolutely fine. And uh, Marina Shafir is in fact done. I got really, really lucky with some of the bouts. And yeah, both cards are done. Really happy with that, of course. And this will be... I mean, I think we've got to go with Overrun, if I'm honest. But uh, there we go. So, she is done, of course. Um, I've literally just put the Nia Jaxes in my uh, Women's Royal Rumble deck. So, um, you know, she's obviously not as important than the other one. Uh, than this one, sorry. But um, hopefully I can level this up quite far. 
Uh, that's a 76. Obviously, this will by far be my best female. Um, not sure what I'm going to like delete or use as part to uh, train her up, of course. But is there any like sort of female that I can use? If we go to general females, and I mean... Is Rhea in anything now? She's in Women's Giants. What about Asuka? She's in Women's Giants. Thing is, I need those for other, like, decks and stuff. Obviously, Scarlet is in the Women's Giants as well. That's Sonya. Is she? She... Oh, of course she is. Uh, that sucks. What about the males? How are we doing for the males? In terms of, like, pros and stuff? I mean... I mean, there's Edge and there's Apollo. I could get rid of those two. I think we will. I think we'll do that. I mean, to be fair, I do like it. I like keeping event cards. No, the Apollo. No, the Apollo. I'm going to keep because it's a half heroic, and the only other half heroic I've got is Seth Rollins from SummerSlam 18. And as you can see, I've still got him as well. So I will keep those. Um, it might take me a little bit to train her up, but that's all right. That is fine. And uh, Randy Orton is, of course, uh, done as well. Uh, still not sure. I, I think I'll probably give that uh, piece of equipment to maybe Montez Ford for um, the uh, trombone. But here is the Make It Right Fusion. It feels like I've been waiting absolutely forever to claim this. Oh, it literally let's hope for a floaty pack but if not a new image or a pro that we can get so uh let's do it floaty pack please floaty pack floaty pack yes yes i've got a floaty pack see if you ask for it so if you ask for it so many times you will eventually get it so yes really happy with this what have we got we've got oh that was so many 36 roman reigns i think that will be a pro because of Team Motor Glory. But the Biomechanical is, of course, a bonus. I really like this um, a bit there. And we get Rey Mysterio. Awesome. I will, of course, take that. So I'm pretty sure that Roman Reigns is a pro. Before I start another fusion, I will, of course, run a few more of the uh, bulb ones. Uh, just so I can start a fusion overnight and then claim it for the morning. And uh, include it in the next video, of course. So, really, really happy with that. Um, nothing's combinable at the moment, apart from the Gothics. I mean, the Fabian Eichner, um, obviously, I'll get to uh, training those eventually. Uh, Montez Ford, of course, needs to go into the male Royal Rumble. Or I might just leave it until Team Road to Glory, throw him in there. And uh, that sounds good. Um, speaking of TBG, um, we obviously will start one tomorrow with the team event. But my idea of doing just a TBG... Uh, like for tomorrow's team event and then leave it until the following week seems to have gone down very well the other guys so uh awesome stuff we'll just have a quick run through this uh, team event of course and roman reigns is the wrestlemania 36 like i said so that'll be a pro for me uh randy Orton elemental alexa bliss is the SummerSlam 20 which i think is a pro and uh bray wyatt for biomechanical is also a pro but then drew mcintyre and uh, aj styles are singles that's absolutely fine. Another behemoth, another swarm, hopefully. And um, quite happy. So, I think we'll leave this video here, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for more, uh, to see more, um, I should say. And thank you very much for watching. You take care, and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up. And do hit the subscribe button if you are new as well. Lots of different content now on this channel, guys. Football Manager, WWE Supercard, Wrestling, and Football Prediction. You can follow me on Twitter at pplays 300 and on Twitch at ParkerPlays300. If you would like to get your name in the credits for each of the videos that I post, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, be nice, be awesome, and I'll chat to you soon. Ciao for now.